Good afternoon. During today's legislative hearing, we will consider four bills, S 1364, the Lumbee Tribe of North Carolina Recognition Act, H.R. 1975, the Pala Band of Mission Indians Land Transfer Act of 2021, H.R. 2088, the Eastern Band of Cherokee Historic Lands Reacquisition Act, and H.R. 4881, the Old Pasqua Community Land Acquisition Act. These bills represent two very important ways Congress can honor and strengthen tribal sovereignty and self-governance, extending federal recognition, that is granting all rights, privileges, and protections the United States currently affords to 574 recognized tribes and taking land into trust to restore tribal homelands. Both acts carry profound weight and so should not be undertaken lightly or without the full consideration by this committee. We begin with S-1364, a bill to extend federal recognition to the Lumbee Tribe of North Carolina and clarify that the tribe and its citizens are eligible for all services and benefits the United States provides to federally recognized Indian tribes. This legislation would also authorize the Secretary of the Interior to take land into trust for the tribe. The Lumbee Tribe has long sought federal recognition and is one step closer to having, having secured house passage of H.R. 2758 the identical companion bill to S-1364. Turning to the House passed bills, H.R. 1975 would authorize the Secretary of the Interior to take approximately 721 acres of land in San Diego County, California, into trust for the benefit of the Pala Band of Mission Indians, empowering the tribe to better steward their sacred sites and honor their cultural history. H.R. 2088 would place approximately 76 acres of federal land and 20 acres of permanent easements into trust for the benefit of the Eastern Band of Cherokee Indians. The primary use of these properties would support the tribe's ongoing cultural, historic, and recreational activities. And finally, H.R. 4881 would direct the Secretary of the Interior to take approximately 30 acres of land known as Old Pasqua into trust for the benefit of the Pasquayaki Indian tribe. Old Pasqua is the oldest formally established area where the Yaqui community lived before their formal reservation was established. This land would allow the tribe to expand governmental operations, create jobs, and further support tribal housing, health care, and education. Before I turn to Vice Chair Murkowski, I'd like to extend my welcome and thanks to the witnesses who also happen to be members uh, of the House and the Senate for joining us today. I look forward to your testimony and our discussion. Vice Chair Murkowski.